Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to create a Toondo. Now this is a website that's good for all ages. So I'm going to do a search here for T-O-O-N-D-O-O, -O -O, Toondo. World's fastest way to create cartoons. Now, when I had my students sign up, they'd sign up for free click on the free one and then they would need a username so I'm just gonna create one here real quick and I'm gonna make it Gracie and then a number pick your password and you can use student pupil numbers any type of ID or something that maybe is uniform for the kids so that they remember otherwise maybe write them down on note cards so that you have it for them to pull out at a later use They do have to put an email in. Now, with the emails, if the kids don't have one, they can just put first, last name, and at yahoo.com. The only reason you would have to have a valid email is if you needed to recover the password. But if you have those written down, then the students should be all right. Once you type this information in, it's at, it'll say, congratulations, you're a tune due now. Log in. So now I'm just going to log in with my information that I just typed in here. click sign in and it's real quick and easy for students to sign up for the account so now hi Gracie 25 I am logged in now what I had the students do is create a tune here so they click and when you make a book and I'll show you a book here a little later on in the video you have to have a horizontal layout but if you're just making one comic strip you can pick the vertical layouts as well so I'm gonna pick this first layout here and I'm just gonna show you a couple functions on here and then give you some examples of a couple pieces of work so we gotta give it a minute here to load and I've, I've used these at my school and loads up pretty quick there was like one or two days when I couldn't get on the website but you can just check ahead of time before you go and devote a whole class period just make sure that the sites up before you have the students log in so now I've got my tune do up they've got multiple different characters here so they've got you know the bears the men women kids They've got some sports, unusuals, but what I like to do is pick a theme or a background first. There's scenery, space, a couple other options here, and I'm, I'm just going to pick a indoor theme right now. So I'm going to say I've got a setting here. Let's do this one here. So th this kind of looks like a classroom, maybe an office. Once you pick the background, then you can come, you can pick your characters. So I'll say I'll pick little kids here to hang out. So let's say I got this little guy. And I also pick this girl. Now, with the characters, down here there's multiple different things you can do. You can rotate them. You can shrink them make them smaller, make them bigger if you want. You can delete. You can flip them so that if you put something over her it she'll go from front to back. There's just a couple features. You can also change colors. Now let's say I want to add a text. Come up here. I've got my text. There's several different choices you can have. So I pick this one here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move this over so it looks like he's talking. I can also shrink that bubble. If I want to make it smaller, I want to make it bigger. And when I need to type, I can just type up there. If I need to move it, I can click on it. It'll move it. And then let's say for her, I want to pick a different 
little cloud. Can move her cloud up, can put it over here. So just like that, I was able to put text in. I have characters. You can add props. So if I want to put Let's say I want to add some indoor items here. So maybe I want to put another chair in here. Maybe that's one that she's sitting in and then add a, well, there's 11 pages here so you can keep flipping through. Let's say I, I'm not sure I can't find it in here. I can also search up here. So if I type in book, books, I hit search and a couple different items pop up for books. So if I want to add books to the picture, notice how that's really big. I can shrink that and put it down here, make it a little smaller. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to show you a couple different pieces that I put together that are educational. Now, but when you need to save, you come up here to Toon Do, you click Save, and I'll title this Practice. And what I do is I let others redo, and I also I'll publish it to the world. So everybody can kind of see my work here. If you don't want that to happen, you can unclick those. You can keep it private if you want. And then you would click Publish. So any of those down there that you want, you click OK. And now I've got my Tune Do is already done. So now when I go back to the home page, I can now click on my Tune Do's. And here is my created Tune Do. So I can preview it, and it's up and running. So just like that, I was able to create a tune do. Now I'm going to log into a name that I've been using where I've created a couple. Now here we'll go to my tune do's first. So on that last one, there was only one, but on here, there's multiple ones. I've created a couple different ones. Some math related, some science re related, but I'll, I'll just click on one here. This one here may be good for an elementary science lesson where they can kind of see the solar system and how many planets they are and I named them. This is just something little that you could put together, have the students, you know, they just scroll down, they find the planets, they label them, and it kind of, kind of gives them a nice visual. Other ones I have here, I created a little math one here. This is a little harder to see, but it has Kobe is six and a half feet tall and cast a shadow that is four feet long. Spud Webb is five feet tall. How long is the shadow? And about a three foot shadow. So kind of had to round there because it wasn't a whole number. But you could create math problems, you could make it into science, you could do water cycle, you can kind of get this into any subject. Language arts, you could do poems, any type of literature. Now, if you want to create a book, and I have my students create a book, you come over here to create book, and notice what I said at the beginning of the video, it only supports vertical layouts. And all these choices down here are vertical. Now, here I could just start to scroll up, like if I want to make my book, and if this was the first page of my book, I pop it up there, it's now in my book. If I want this to be the second page, insert after this page, and let's insert another page, and another page. Now, th now this book isn't going to make much sense because it's just the first three I kind of picked, and I've got all my little slides down here at the bottom to pick what I want. Now when I click publish it wants me to have a title so I'm going to title this practice book 
You could put a description down here, whatever you want. I'll just call it describing Tundu. And then publish. Your book is published. Then I can view it. And what I had after my students created this, I had them log in. They'd come up to the front of the class and they'd show their books. Now I had them kind of work with partners, but they'd have their title, they'd read the description, they'd introduce themselves, and then they'd flip through the book. They'd say, this is my picture of the solar system, go through what it meant, and flip through each page, and kind of switch up on the, the reading with each other. Now, let me log into another one that actually has a math one done. So this is a student's work one that came up and created a book and presented it with their partner. So I click on my Tundu books and right here's their book so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna preview it. Trying out for the soccer team. You have to answer three questions to join the team. Okay. The first question is 22 is what percent of 122? And then the little boy says 18. Question number 2, 20A plus 6 equals 46. What is A? The little boy says A equals 2. Correct, so he's 2 for 2. And question number 3, 5A equals 20. What is A? A equals 4. Correct. Congrats, you made the team. Awesome. So that was a three-page book. They'd make each slide and then they put it together to kind of make a story. So this is kind of a small introduction to Toondoo. It's it's nice. I, I've enjoyed it. Some things I've noticed, I definitely have, if you use it in a classroom, I'd have the students write down their passwords and I would keep a hold of those because I had multiple students kind of forget their login, forget their email, it just makes it a lot easier if you have that information. And there is a function on here if you don't want to present them in front of the class, you can actually have the students email them directly to you. So when you open up your email, you could have every little student's tune do and you can grade it that way. If you want to make it a presentation, you can you also have that choice. But this is a small introduction to tune do. Like I said, you could use it with multiple different subjects. I enjoyed it, my students enjoyed it, and I hope you guys get a chance to maybe introduce this into your classroom. Once again, thank you for visiting. Signing out.